Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today I'm here with Noah Wilson-Rich, the founder of Best Bees, and you are on cutting edge technology with beehives. I love what we're about to talk about. Let's talk about the internet and beehives, something you wouldn't really think go together. I know, it's this inevitable future of the world. The internet of things is now meeting beehives. So tell me about how you have sort of, I don't want to say partnered with the internet, but are utilizing the internet to get information out of your hives. Yeah, so beehives are dying. It's a big problem. Anybody who eats food needs bees. But we have to figure out how to save them. So we're starting here with getting some data sensors in beehives that can transmit things like temperature, humidity, video. This technology will be really helpful for beekeepers because they won't have to go out to their beehives, open it up in the middle of winter. They can just look on a smartphone and say, oh, the temperature is dropping. Maybe I can then text the beehive and add a little bit of heat or open a vent, something to control for moisture. So it's really like we are trying to control our homes from afar. Oh, I need to put the heat on or I need to turn the air conditioning off. Yeah. You're doing the same thing with the homes for the bees. Yeah, so smart home, smart hive, it all goes together. And it's this inevitable future that we're seeing with everything in our lives connected to the web and making the world a better place as much as possible. So Noah, we're looking at a picture here of the device. Tell me what, what this is. So this device is kind of like a computer. It has a hardware component. Right now it's kind of a red box and it goes inside the beehive and it has wires that plug into a USB port that sends different things such as temperature, humidity, uh, video. We're looking at things like weight and sound and those all transmit through the cloud and onto a computer screen or a smartphone screen. And you have, you have scientists or data folks that are working on different generations for this. This will only get better, right? That's right. So it's a bit rudimentary now, and we did file a patent that has five different iterations and developments of the smart hive. Things that are as futuristic as if R2-D2 and a beehive had a baby that had wheels where the beehive could leave a pesticide-laden area if it needed to. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. And, and what, what's the goal of getting all this information? Where, what are you going to do with it in the future? So with this information, we have two different organizations that work together. The Best Bees Company collects data on beehives, and then our related 501c3 nonprofit, the Urban Beekeeping Laboratory, that analyzes the data and presents the results to the general public. So how would, if I wanted to get involved, how, how would I go about this? Sure, so we just deployed the Smart Hive, so it is available to the public. We've got more information at bestbees.com. It's also on display at some museums, like the Museum of Science Boston, and then the Booz Allen Innovation Center in Washington, D.C. is about to set another one up. Well, this has been awesome. I love the cutting edge technology. It's beginning to rain, so we're going to sign off and say thanks, Noah, for very much for coming out. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.